are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. So, you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. Areas tag. One moment, please. Now arriving at board level purgatory. Can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindles them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. Guy filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, Mal, you're, uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we had the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and, uh... Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to, uh, have a guys' night. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. 
Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Thanks for the drink. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die. But they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Salute! Thanks for the drink. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. 
Unite them under my rule and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. I hope this isn't a social visit. You still have work to do around here. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get Novarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. We'll talk later. I'm sure. destination. Teresa, well, maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war, but you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. 
What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. It never rains, but it pours, eh, Shepard? That bad, huh? Things here are getting tense. So many refugees scuttling about, rumors flying about the war. People are walking around, eyeballing each other, and we can't keep up with the reports on suspicious behavior. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You're sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Solarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting? I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar are predictable. Anything suspicious in their terminal use should narrow down our list of suspects. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good specter. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Shepard? I should go. I'll be here.
is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those... Val, I have some possible hits. Mm -hmm. Got some strange money transfers on Balone. And a loon is in... Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Haloon. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Haloon's personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for a Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join him. You were working your way around to it. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palavan. Yes, I have spoken to you before. May lose their planet. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's possible that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. Races, and reports suggest he has also offered an invitation to... I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please. A few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in Sweden. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. We're at this little farm. We'd killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. If these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. 
Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're both professionals. We have more important things to worry about. You're right. I'm just restless laying here doing nothing. So what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out a gunnery chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too. Until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was... Well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could. And survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's... It's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean... I'll fight with honor and courage, ma'am. Roger that, Elsie. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation. And half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. There's a war on. People are counting on us. I get it. But it's still hard to put it all aside. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. You can replace my light, right? Yes. But clone tissue replacement takes months. You'll need a prosthetic. Oh, no. I highly recommend talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. These galaxy I know this is our frontier. 
Frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me, Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. 
So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Nayira came. Nayira was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Nayira walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. You can't turn people away! Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the Docking Bay. Wait! Please! My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the dock. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. What was your name again? Uh, Victor. Christophe Vassel. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. Let's check on those Medigel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospitals? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for...
for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. No need to candy coat it, are you? Ah, oh, Shepard. You think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? <laughs> we all have our delusions. <laughs> We just got a report that another ship made it off Palavan. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. You have a copy of a Shepard VI. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with an SSV Normandy flight sim. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting Reapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it. But remember to come up for air. And not just because all these people need you. Because I need you. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepard, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts, I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore. Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but... 
I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just... can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look, change your name, get new identification. That takes time, and the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. Val, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kaje. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Val. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. 
So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. Of course he is. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Val, here's the course. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zamandis. Sole name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So, he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Empty. Yes, his squad did return. I could, but they ignore me, refused to even look me in the eye. Why won't you help me? The Alliance I simply want my son found. These gamma cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Well, you've got to be kidding me! Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish! You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapiens, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it! Wait! A virus would be detected unless sent on low-priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Upload's disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy. And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. Report suggests he has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. 
but what I need is proof. I can't get your word on this. With those assumptions merely leave my son stranded in enemy territory. Belal may still be alive. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I pretend to be happy over the vids... It's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness of a war going on, you deserve to be happy. And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. If we switch from financial BIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these Reapers win. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose... I've seen Pelavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help... Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares of Walk Fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my homeworld burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? 
We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send him away every morning? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless and... Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen, once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. I really appreciate management doing... Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from Thank the Terminus systems. Thank you for shopping systems. at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't... Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. 
Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. I have spoken with many Batarian refugees here, Shepard. It may interest you to know that they are much more agreeable when the hegemony is no longer watching. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. All goods have been marked down with our special fabrication time weaponry discount. hasn't forgotten Excuse Earth. Me, Shepherd. Neither should you. I'm looking through files and videos of human behavior. I have 1.24 million windows open, but your request is important to me. Please hold. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. Is it time to return to the Normandy? I'm getting propositioned with increasing frequency. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break, contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. 
It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sidaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. I thought our training prepared us for everything, but this... Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. That's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help anymore. Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. Of course not. Sanctuary is a scam. What? Oh, Somebody's making money off people's fears. Wish I'd thought of it myself. Primarch Victus has requested a war summit of council races, and reports suggest he has also offered an invitation to the Krogan. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This goes wrong. It's your ass. Quiet. Arya to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard. Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Quill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice, don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. <laughs> So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? 
The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can... You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, uh, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med-10 volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. Overcharging for goods. Denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Bar Levon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. I had plans to return to a room, but business here keeps luring me back. Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. Take the time to admire how well they repaired the Citadel after Sovereign attacked. The Presidium's reconstruction cost was astronomical, but worth every credit. I can get by on very little sleep. My office will be open when you return. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches Hello for again, any and Commander. all personal needs. I have plans to return to a room, but business here keeps luring me back. Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. We appreciate your visit. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. I hate this guard duty assignment. I hate everything right now. Nothing to do about it. We each stand duty in our own ways. At least your wife and the kids went on that trip you mentioned a while back. Where was it again? They canceled the trip. Donated the funds to some charity when Earth was hit. And then... Paladin. Shit. I'm sorry. telling you, I saw the look in his eye before he started off across that street. It was like...
Come and get me, Death. You piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Do you guys have a tap? We're the dancers. I want dancers. Well, the dance floor's over there. Not dancers, dumbass. Dancers. I'm here for short leave, not the Viennese wall. I, I, I don't, um... Uh... Oh, come on. If there's an ass shaking somewhere on this station, you guys know where it is. Look who's here. I hope this isn't a social visit. You still have work to do around here. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge? Where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The blood pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Lyon is on Earth, the beautiful city. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when, boom, the sky went black, dust and ash. A giant metal wall rushed down. I fell into the river. Do you humans ever stop talking? When I climbed out, I heard screaming. The metal wall started to move and I realized it was a leg. Only one of the Reaper's legs. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Zane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. I get it. I release Sedaris so you can take her down and assume control of the gang. What? What are you... It's brilliant. You'd earn Arya's respect instantly. Uh... Yeah. You see right through me. And then I'd make the deal with Arya. Right? Exactly. You got this all figured out. Right. Uh... Right. Yeah, that's the plan. Let Sedaris out of jail. She won't be breathing free air for long. Good man. Sedaris is second in command. What are you up to, Shepard? Release Sedaris immediately. She won't be a... Something tells me I don't want to know, but I trust you. I'll release her today. Sure hope you don't come to regret this. Commander Shepard. One moment, please. 
Now arriving at Dogging Bay D24. Listen, honey, please. This is how it has to be. Everyone's going through this. I know, and I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just so damn inconvenient. It's like we're pre-space flight all of a sudden. Pretty much. You should see what they've got us using for heavy munitions. It's all mass-produced Elkos combine crap. Wait, munitions? Explosive munitions? I thought you weren't going to be on the front lines. Not in hot combat zones, no, of course not. But sometimes, they need us to breach enemy fortifications. God, I swear you said you were just going to be building emergency outposts. Admiral Garrus Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat engineer. He was born on Palavan and became a Citadel security officer like his father, but left the force when... The Enhanced Defense Intelligence, or ED, serves as an information source and cyber warfare defense system on the... Thank <laughs> you.